how to draw some uh, simple biological compounds. Uh, we'll start off with one of the, the classics, uh, glucose. Glucose is a uh, six carbon sugar, a monosaccharide. So we're going to draw the ring form. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the carbon chain. The ring is completed with an oxygen. And as you know, carbon has four bonds. So that one's got two, so it's going to have another two there. Two. So each one's got to have four. And then students always have difficulty in putting the OH groups onto glucose. I always remember it down, down, up, down, although you might have a different number. Down, down, up, down. So down, down, up, down. And that is for alpha glucose. That's sometimes that. Alpha glucose. And there's one up at the top. It doesn't really matter because this bond will move around. And the rest of them, sometimes even blank, but put hydrogens on. And there we have glucose. Next one we'll draw is an amino acid. This is a two carbon and it's got an acid end and an amino end. Let's do the acid. Double bond O and an OH. And that's the uh, carboxylic acid end. And we'll, we'll meet that again when we do fatty acids. And at the other end we've got the amino end. So N with H's in the middle. As we just said with carbon, it needs four bonds. One of these is always just hydrogen, and the other one, I'm going to call it R for the rest of the molecule. It could be, this could be the simplest amino acid, just putting a H on there, glycine. Or this might be a bigger chain, but we don't expect you to learn any of those. And there's 20 of them. We're just going to put that R there. Other simple compounds we expect you to be able to draw uh, and recognise. Uh, we've got glycerol, which is a three carbon chain, as ever, four bonds for the carbons, and we've got OHs, one OH to each one, so the, the technical name in chemistry is something like Propan 1, 2, 3, triol or something like that. And the rest of them are just H's. So that is a, that is glycerol. This is quite often mentioned in the last of our simple, simple compounds, fatty acid. And acid, so acid we have got our acid part of the molecule, our Q group. And then actually, the reason why this is fatty is because it's got a long carbon chain with, if it's saturated, these will just be hydrogens and so on. If it's unsaturated, and you'll do this in further detail, 
uh, either double bond. So that is a fatty acid. So those are four simple, simple compounds. What we'll try and do next is join two compounds together in a condensation reaction. Let's go back to our first compound that we drew and hopefully you can get to be drawing this you know, pretty, pretty quickly once you've learned how. So I'm going to start off 6 carbon chain and the last one goes up like an aerial. So a common mistake is to put these all around in one big chain. But that's completed by oxygen. Every carbon needs four bonds. And let's put our OHs on. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, and one up there somewhere. The rest of them just hydrogen. And this is alpha glucose. Alpha glucose. What we're going to make is a disaccharide. So this is a monosaccharide, mono one. We make a disaccharide and we're just going to make maltose, which is two of these bonded together. So I need to draw another one just over here. So I'm going to draw the same thing. That's good practice for drawing. There's my Six carbon chain. Complete the ring with oxygen. Carbon has got got my hydrogen on that one. Carbon's got four bonds. It's a good system to get into to using. Uh, so you do the same thing each time. I'm going to draw alpha glucose. So down, down, up, down, 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 up. And one up there somewhere. The rest of them are hydrogens. And we're going to have a condensation reaction. Think about condensation at home, condensation in your windows or in a car, it's wet, it's water. So condensation reaction produces water. And the formula for water, hopefully you'll see one of the other videos exploring water, H2O. Or if we draw that, draw that out, we've got an O with two H's on. And if we draw it like that, we can see what we need to find here. We need to find two H's and an O. Two H's and an O there. So all I'm going to do is take out my water. Two H's, there's one H, there's the other H. And I'm going to take out an O, and we're not bothered where this is coming from. So I've removed H2O, there it is. And all I'm going to do is join those up. It looks a little bit untidy, and in the textbooks you'll see it looking a bit like that, nice and tidy. But in terms of you drawing it, it doesn't really matter if it's a bit skew. I'm going to Put that back to where it was, do it again. So we had OH there and OH there. Technically, these bonds would be joined onto the oxygen, but we're not, not going to worry about that now. So I need to find H2O. So H, another H, and an O. H2O. And I've got to pay for that. H, H, and an O. And I'm just going to tidy that up there. And what we've made there is there's two alpha glucoses. So we've now made maltose, which is a disaccharide. And this bond here, we have a gly. Bond. Malt.
cocktails. We can do the same thing with amino acids. So we can quickly draw an amino acid. So two carbons. It's got an acid end and it's got an amino end. Carbon needs four bonds. One of them's always hydrogen and one of them is what we call the R group, the rest of the molecule. Let's draw another one here again. Draw exactly the same thing. Two carbons. It's got an acid end and it's got amino end, carbon has four bonds, hydrogen and the rest. This might be a different rest of the molecule to the other one. What we're going to make is a dipeptide. So these are amino acids and we're going to make a dipeptide by joining these together. Again it's going to be a condensation reaction. So condensation reaction makes water or H2O. And we need to pay for that. We need two hydrogens and an oxygen. So two hydrogens and an oxygen and we can see them there. If we join these two together I can see where water is coming from. If I tried it on the other side I've only got one hydrogen and oxygen and that's not water so I can't use that. So there's one hydrogen, there's two hydrogens and there's my oxygen. And all I'm going to do is join those up. Again, in the textbooks, they'll, they'll make it look nice and fancy, but that will get you, get you the marks. And there's my water. And that is a peptide bond. I'm going to do that again. So there's my amino, amino group. Here's my OH of the acid. I get rid of water, H2O. H2O. I've paid for it there and I've joined those two up. I've made a dye peptide. This bond here, peptide bond or peptide linkage. And whilst we're at it, we might as well do I'll do the last one where we <coughs> where we had glycerol. So remember glycerol was our three carbon. All my carbons need to be four bonds. We had OHs and the rest of them are just hydrogens. And that was my glycerol. And I'm going to join on a fatty acid onto this glycerol to actually make a mono. Um, you'd normally make triglycerides but we're going to just make a monoglyceride. Um, if we can remember what fatty acid looks like, it's an acid end with a fatty or kind of long carbon chain in the tail. So. Here's my acid, again, like our amino acid. It's got our Ku group. And these, can, these chains of carbon here can be, <coughs> can be there along, could be 18, 19 to 20, um, each with you know, lots of hydrogens or even double bonds and, and hydrogens. You'll do all of the details of that later. So this is my fatty acid and again this is a condensation reaction so condensation reaction I need water so I need two H's and an O and I can see where these are going to join up to you know, if, I, if I try doing it with that with anything it doesn't add up I can't get water but if I do it with these I can see where my water is going to come from so I can find two H's, there's one H, there's another H, and an O. 
and all I'm going to do is join that on like that. In textbooks they'll tidy it up a bit but that's that's right that'll do. I'll do that again. My two OH groups can come together to make water. There's one H, there's two H's, and there's O. So H2O, there's my bond, and there's my water, or H2O. What I've made here is a, is a starting of a, a lipid. This is a mono, a monoglyceride, but actually what happens is we do that with two more fatty acids to make a triglyceride, so a three version of what, what I've drawn there, but I'm not going to draw all those in. And we've got this bond here, or linkage, and that's the ester bond, or ester linkage. So what we've done is we've drawn the kind of four basic molecules that most of the rest of biology is, is built on. Uh, we've given them names, we've combine them together to make disaccharides, dipeptides, or uh, we started to make some sort of beginnings of triglycerides or, or lipids. Condensation reactions always producing water. The reverse of this you can do, just play the video backwards, and that will be hydrolysis or using the water to break these bonds, a bit like what your digestive system does. But we're building things at the moment with condensation reactions the only molecule that we've really left out is um, the molecules that, that make up DNA and polynucleotides, um, but we'll do that in another video.